Welcome to our ESPN.com preseason power rankings. I'm Andy Katz along with Seth Greenberg. Louisville, our number seven team in our power rankings. And Seth, you recruited Montrezl Harrell. Uh, and then you ended up coming with us. He ends up going to Louisville and has had a stellar career so far. How ready is he to take that next step and be an All-American? Rick Pitino's done an incredible job with Montrez. And what I mean by that is he's developed his game. Montrez was a great athlete with long arms and a great motor. Now he can catch at the foul line, catch it in face, rip it, and drive it. He can shoot the 15th to 17th footer. He is hard to keep off the offensive glass, but he's doing a nice job of rebounding the ball on the defensive end. But the key to Montrez is just how hard he plays. Now he's got to take that energy and foster it, not try to do too much. But right now he's at one of the most complete front court players in all of college basketball, and he's being coached by a guy that really gets the most out of his teams. Think about last year's Louisville team. They were number one in the country in defensive efficiency. They were second in turnovers forced, and they were fifth in offensive efficiency. That's a very complete basketball team coached by a Hall of Fame coach. In the last couple of years, whenever we talked about Louisville, we talked about Russ Nicholas. Russ Smith, gone, career is over at Louisville. So who replaces Russ Smith on Louisville in terms of that player that's going to knock down the big shot and can go for 20-plus points a night? I'm not sure you're going to have one player do it. I think Chris Jones now, as he transitioned from junior college, will have a better understanding of what Rick Pitino wants of him. I think Terry Rozier had a terrific summer. He's undersized at 6'2", as a two-guard, but he's physically strong, hard to keep off the glass, terrific defender, very good in transition, which is going to be important. Now, Wayne Blackshear. Wayne Blackshear came in as a McDonald's All-American. He's got to play like a McDonald's All-American. So I don't think they replace him with one player. I think they replace Russ Smith by committee. Russ Smith impacted the game sometimes positively, sometimes negatively. This team is going to be complete. Very small margin of error up front. The big question for me is not who replaces Russ Smith, but most importantly, who will play up front with Montrezl Harrell? I think that's going to be the biggest. Do they have enough depth up front to rebound the basketball, finish plays, and also make a play at the end of that matchup zone? Big change for Louisville. They went from the Big East to the American, now to the ACC. How does Louisville handle this transition to the ACC? I think their style of play is going to fit well. I think people are going to have adjustment to playing against that running, pressing style of play, defending the three, the pit, maybe playing with a small lineup, a little bit like Carolina did a couple of years ago. So, you know, Rick Pitino, you know, he's seen it all, whether it was in the NBA, at the collegiate level, whether it was in the Big East or the American Conference. All right, he's seen it all. So Rick Pitino will have his team ready to play. I think teams are going to struggle with the speed of Louisville and the style of play, the relentless style of play. The press is only as good as the front of the press. And right now, the front of the press for Louisville with Chris Jones, who plays really hard, is very active, and Terry Rogier will be very, very difficult to just inbound the basketball. Because really, the press is all about denying the ball inbounds and maybe getting a back trap. It's not as much, you know, turning you over in transition. So I think Louisville will be fine. Who makes shots? And will their depth up front be up to hold up within the ACC? And their schedule finally has... Uh improved as well in the non-conference a little softer in years past uh they're playing minnesota down in the armed forces classic in puerto rico they're going to take on indiana in the jimmy v classic in new york city they've got ohio state and of course they've got the rivalry game against kentucky this time it's at louisville all right louisville our number seven team in our espn.com preseason power rankings